Hello everyone, welcome back to the Explorers. I am Abhinav Bhatnagar and today we have with us the Jupiter 125 Smart X variant. What's smart about it? We'll let you know in the video. But for now, let's see how it looks. variant is available in only two premium colors and is priced at 97,000 X showroom Delhi well approximately 97,000 now in the front you have LED headlight bulb turn indicators and LED DRL it gets 12 inch diamond cut alloy wheels with a 90 by 90 section TVS tire mounted on it along with that in the front you have telescopic folks at the rear you have a mono shock as part of the braking system it gets combi braking system and has a 220 mm disc brake in the front with a 130 mm drum brake in the rear the overall body is a mix of fiber and metal from the side profile in one go itself you can tell it is a long scooter the wheelbase is 1275 mm the saddle is 790 mm so 79 centimeter of the saddle which is wide comfortable and can easily seat three but well that's illegal the footboard length is 380 mm that is 38 centimeters of the footboard space which is decent enough for someone with my height my height is 59 for your reference the saddle height is 765 mm so anyone above five feet can easily ride the scooter the scooter weight is 108 kg which is slightly on a higher side but then it is manageable now coming to the front board you have a 2 liter glove compartment which is not covered it is open you have a usb charger and on the left hand side you have the fuel cap so the fuel tank is front mounted on the jupiter 125 it is 5 liter in space fuel efficiency we will test it in a ride review so many things have been placed inside the footboard as well as the tank is front facing because okay this is irritating so whenever you put the side stand it continuously beeps which is for your safety that you know the side stand is down now this has been done to accommodate this large under seat storage which is 33 liters it can easily fit two full face helmets i am pretty much sure five years down the line jupiter is going to compete with hatchback boot space because this is crazy i mean it is very practical the seat is comfortable and for your rear passenger you also get a backrest at the rear you have the bulb tail light with bulb turn indicators the ground clearance of the scooter is 163 mm which is decent enough for your city usage and now let's talk about the powerhouse well before we talk about that i'll tell you that there is no kick in the jupiter 125 anymore it's all on your cell start which is a good thing because now you have fuel injection so you don't have to worry about that the cold start will not happen or you know there will be some other starting issue so the 125 cc motor it generates a maximum power of 8 ps at 6500 rpm and has a peak torque of 10 newton meters at 4500 rpm well the motor itself is a four stroke two valve motor which is air cooled we'll understand the riding dynamics and the engine characteristics in our ride review for now let me show you the smart part of the scooter so this is a split screen setup with a negative display on the right hand side and a color tft on the left hand side on the left hand side you have all the connected features you get how much you have ridden in eco mode in power mode you also have the tachometer which i have never seen in a scooter and then you have the battery voltage as well as the average fuel efficiency and instantaneous fuel efficiency with distance to empty you get time date and the riding time on the left screen and this also gives you call notification and social media notifications along with that it can also give you news updates weather updates and your sports update which is a good add-on although it's a small screen and finally turn by turn navigation because it has connected features on the right hand side you have the negative display which is a digital speedometer fuel gauge odometer and trip meter now the only problem with these negative displays are that under direct sunlight they are barely visible so that is what we also felt along with that on the right hand side you do not have the kill switch this is the auto self start switch intelligo feature with that you have the hazard light switch the self start and the voice assist switch left hand side is the headlight control with the pass switch turn indicator control and the horn with that said our walk around review has come to an end and we are soon going to do a ride review of this scooter 
well for that you will have to subscribe to us and ring that bell so you are not missing out on that notification and we are also on instagram where the reels of the scooter have been posted you can get in touch with us anywhere on instagram on youtube or facebook whichever platform you use we are everywhere so that's about it folks and kids are a pain if you see that group over there they have been a pain for us for recording this but anyways they are kids so yeah let's meet you in the ride review bye bye